is another amazing memory tip. This is to help you remember the digestion of lipids in the human body. When you think of lipid digestion in the human body, think of the word bile. Okay, bile. B for bile, that's the first substance used in the digestion of lipids. And then I for intestine, L for lipase, and E for N. That means there are no other enzymes used to digest uh, lipids except for lipase. So let's go through the word bile one by one. The B is for bile. So bile is produced by the liver and stored in the gallbladder. Then it is released from the gallbladder into the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine, where it will carry out emulsification of lipids, meaning it will break down the lipids into tiny droplets to increase the total surface area of the lipids for faster digestion by the enzyme lipids. So this process occurs in the small intestine, the first part of the small intestine, which is the duodenum. Now, apart from bile, there's one enzyme. There's only one enzyme for lipids here that we study, and this is called lipase. So lipase is produced by the pancreas and uh, is secreted in the pancreatic juice into the duodenum also, right? Then this lipase breaks down lipids into the final products of uh, which are fatty acids and glycerol before the fatty acids and glycerol are absorbed in the small intestine. Now, apart from pancreatic juice that contains lipase, the ileum also produces intestinal juice that contains the lipase enzyme also, all right, to complete the process of digestion of lipids, all right? So there's only one enzyme involved in the digestion of lipids, which we study here, okay, and that's lipase. So that's the end. So when you want to remember digestion of lipids, think of bar. Okay, B for bar, I for intestine, that's where the process occurs, L for lipase, and E is the end. Now, if you have looked at my other shots video, bar can also stand for the function of bar. Okay, the function of bar is to break down lipids by emulsification. Okay, B for breakdown, L for lipids, E for emulsification. And the I can also stand for the word intestine. It's the place, place where the process occurs. Finally, our question. Explain the digestion of lipids in fried foods. For example, fried chicken, fried potato chips or fried bananas, okay, in the human body. So all these fried stuff contain a lot of lipids, right? Now, explain the digestion of lipids in the fried food, in the human body, right? So the answer will be given in the next short video.